Well, I'll give a, a quick tip on how to actually cut sandpaper. If you can cut it with scissors, uh, it'll dull your scissors out for one thing, but it also puts a jagged bent edge to it. And when you're wet sanding, especially if you're color sanding paint, it can actually leave lines in it. Um, of course, this is being a bit of a perfectionist, but the way I always um, cut sandpaper is I take it and I fold it with the sandpaper side together, like so. Corner lined up, and I pinch it, hold that corner together, and just I don't run my fingernail across the edge. And then I fold it backwards and let it break on that side. And I'll take it back. And get it started. <clears throat> now that's in half, and usually I do quarters. But one thing I was going to show you is not all sandpaper, this is not 3M. I usually use 3M paper. It's usually the best. It lasts the longest. Although uh, this uh, Sun Mod, I've used some of it, and it's actually pretty good paper too. But Sun Mod actually has printed the grid of the paper almost every place. So if you break this up into a, it either into halves or a small or into quarters, you'll still see the 320. Whereas if you're looking at 3M paper, <clears throat> like here, it's 280 grit. But if I was to cut it in half in this way, 280 is not over here. Another tip, use a Sharpie or some type of marker. If you use an actual ballpoint pen or some type of hard pen, you'll actually make impressions on the other side of the paper. And again, it would be like having, even though it's still that, that grit with a, a bubbled edge on, that, on the, the sandpaper side, it can actually start leaving weird lines as you're wet sanding or dry sanding, either what one you want to do. But I would always recommend writing, especially if you know, you're not sure what you're going to do. You could use this in a sanding block, or you could use it on a little, uh, little small squeegee. But what I always do is just write, and of course two A's there and two A's there, so I don't need to do it on all four corners. But if I didn't see those, then I'd go ahead and write 280, 280, 280, 280. A little squeegee block. I often use these. It's a little hard rubber squeegee block, and I use it for block sanding uh, out orange peel and when I'm doing a color sanding, like on clear or a single stage colors. The nice thing about it is you can wrap your piece of paper around it, sand, and take the paper off, and you can just use it and squeegee the paint. And I'll show that in another demonstration. And then you buy these in bigger blocks. I usually cut them up in small sections to uh, do uh, color sanding that doesn't actually remove the orange peel that much. It just kind of helps clean the surface a little bit. But I just thought I'd give a tip on how to cut sandpaper, and I uh, hope that helps.